Hello and welcome to Right Now for Wednesday the 1st of November 2017. I'm Tim Wilms. Hope you enjoyed Halloween last night. The Turnbull government is proceeding with its scheduled closure of the Manus Island Detention Centre. However, the 600 men currently located there are refusing to leave, claiming it is unsafe for them to be in the Papua New Guinea community. This is another attempt by alleged refugees and their advocates to try and attack Australia's strong border security. International bodies such as the UN and Human Rights Watch have already used this opportunity to attack our border policy. Thankfully, on this issue, our government has been resolute in its policy that no person who comes to Australia by boat will be settled in Australia. Immigration Minister Peter Dutton has has again dismissed the claims of mistreatment, torture and danger uh, that have been made and criticised leftist troublemakers on this issue, such as Green Senator Nick McKim. Dutton should be confident in his actions, knowing that the Australian people are behind him on this issue. Many thought the dual citizenship saga was over with the High Court ruling last Friday. However, with the court affirming that ignorance of citizenship is not a defence, it left open the possibility that more MPs could be knocked out if it was discovered that they held dual citizenship through various means. Yesterday, President of the Senate, Stephen Parry, revealed that he might be a British citizen based on the fact that his father migrated from Britain. Many commentators have highlighted that, if true, Parry would be the first MP from a major party to be embroiled in the saga and it will renew calls for an audit of citizenship of all MPs. There will of course be greater calls from the political class to reform section 44 to save them from future embarrassment. However, as most Australians would just wish our lawmakers would actually know what the law is and follow it like the rest of us. Both political and media critics of President Donald Trump believe they have found the smoking gun in the Trump-Russia collusion conspiracy. As part of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into potential collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russian government, former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort, along with associate Rick Gates, have been indicted on charges of conspiracy to launder money, failure to file reports of foreign banks and financial accounts, being an unregistered agent of foreign principles and making false statements. This is related to his time working as a lobbyist for the Ukrainian government in 2014. These charges, of course, have nothing to do with the Trump campaign, but many suspect that these charges have been filed against Manafort as part of a strategy by Mueller to try and get Manafort to disclose information about his time in the Trump campaign. Manafort has pleaded not guilty. He has been a political operative since the 1980s, has been close with Trump and his associates such as Roger Stone over the years, and I suspect he will be not one to roll over and give Mueller anything. Hollywood has been hit with another sex scandal only weeks after the full extent of producer Harvey Weinstein's sexual misconduct was laid out. This time it is House of Cards actor Kevin Spacey who has been accused by fellow actor Anthony Rapp of making a sexual advance towards him in 1986 when Rapp was only 14. Spacey responded by saying he couldn't remember such an encounter, but if it happened he was probably drunk and he apologises for it. He also decided this was the right time to come out as gay, which most have rightly viewed as a deflection strategy. Coincidentally, the following day, Netflix announced that it was cancelling House of Cards after its sixth season. Spacey's planned honour at this year's Emmy Awards was cancelled, and there are suggestions of more allegations. The past few weeks could be the tip of the iceberg in revealing just how prevalent, enabled, and ignored sexual abuse and misconduct is in Hollywood. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and check back here tomorrow to see what is happening right now then.